Hey, Kaiju here. Let's catch up on Charles Counter Attack in 8 minutes. It was the first fully original Gundam movie, released in 1988. Before the movie starts, technical officer Chen Agi inspects the incomplete new Gundam. We find out Char plans to drop an asteroid onto Earth. The movie starts. A group of teenagers is being chased by the police. One of the teenagers is Quest Pariah, daughter of the Vice War Minister of the Earth Federation, added now. The teens were arrested, and Quest is given to her father. Quest does not get along with her father's lover. They leave for the spaceport as Adena will be heading into space to negotiate disarmament with Char, who now leads a revived Neo Zeon faction. Meanwhile, in space, asteroid Fifth Luna accelerates towards Earth. Amuro Ray in the refined Zeta Rigaze battles Gune in the Yakdoka, and Char Osnabo in the Sazabi, but fails to stop the asteroid from descending towards Earth. Back on Earth, Adenau's lover and Quest continues to argue. The lover decided to stay on Earth out of anger and leaves the group. They ran into the Noah family who were having trouble getting on a space shuttle. Adenau used his influence to allow one member of the family to get on board. The family chooses Hathaway Noah as the space shuttle leaves Earth. It narrowly avoids the asteroid 5th Luna as it crashes into Lhasa, Tibet, wiping Tibet off the face of the Earth. Amuro heads to Von Braun to collect the new Gundam. He meets Chan over there, find out Anaheim Electronics also produces mobile suit for the Neo Zeon. They share the same R&D team. We find out Psycho Mu are nanoparticle sized computers. They are built right into the frame of the new Gundam. To shorten the reaction time, they think the idea came from the R&D team. Meanwhile, Char gives a speech to the Neo Zeons regarding the successful asteroid drop and also about a future diversion attack to allow Char to sneak into the colony Londonian. Amuro Ray is being called back to Rock Island as Char's troop attacks. Amuro and Chan leave for Londa Bell in the incomplete new Gundam. They head right into battle. Char sneaks into Londonian. The space shuttle carrying Adenau, Quest, and Hathaway Noah was stranded near the battle. k in the Jagan battles Raisin in the blue Garadoga. k is losing the battle. Amuro saved k from the distance. The Neo Zeons retreat. The stranded space shuttle was rescued by Rock Island, where Hathaway Noah runs into his father, Bright Noah, by chance. Hathaway Noah becomes friends with Quest. Adenau asks Bright to head to Londonia as he's on a special mission. Hathaway hangs out with Quest. They discuss how great a pilot Amuro Ray is. Quest is now obsessed with Amuro. Shah arrives in Londinia thanks to the diversion attack. Adenau and Quest leave Rock Island to negotiate a secret peace treaty with Shah. Shah and Neo Zeon purchase his access from the Federation. Under the condition that Neo Zeon will disarm their fleets at Luna 2, they claim that Axis will become a habitat for the Neo Zeon population, but they secretly have other plans. Amuro, Hathaway, and Quest went out for a drive, while Shaw plans to run into Amuro Ray using their new type ability. Shaw meets Amuro on a horse. He explains why he wants to destroy Earth, as Amuro Ray chases him in a car. People on Earth cause pollutions, because their souls are weighed down by gravity. Quest decides to help Shaw and escapes with Char and Gune in a hobby Zaku. We find out Quest is a talented pilot and is able to use new type weapons like funnels. She reminds Char of Lala. We find out that Char wants to drop access to Earth because he wants human to move to space and turn into new types. Char makes a speech to his troops and reveal his plan to drop access to Earth. To discipline the people on Earth, everyone is excited. To pretend that they followed the peace treaty, they use dummy warships to pretend their ships are still at Luna 2, but they have secretly moved towards Axis. The Neo Zeons attacks Luna 2. Quest and the Yakdoga help destroy the fleet, unknowingly killing her father in the process. The Neo Zeons are now in possession of the nuclear weapons on Luna 2. Meanwhile, Shar has taken over Axis in secret. Rock Island leaves for Axis while Hathaway sneaks on board, hoping to meet Quest again. He was later discovered and slapped by his father. Londa Bell launched a barrage of missiles towards Axis, but they were intercepted by Char. Londa Bell prepares the second wave of attack as Axis descends towards Earth. Kayla tells Astronaut she loves him as she launches in her rigas. Char is able to intercept all of the missiles from London Bell as Axis begin to fly towards Earth. Kune destroyed the last wave of missiles using his Yakdoga to prove his abilities. Quest finds Char in battle to complain about Nanai slapping her. Proceed to leap into space without her normal suit as Char takes her into his Sazabi. Meanwhile, Kune engages in battle with the new Gundam, hoping to prove that he's stronger than Char. As Resun approaches Rock Island, she is shot down by Chan on the turret. Yune engages battle with Keira, heavily damaging her regays, capturing her as a bait for the new Gundam. Yune is hoping to capture new Gundam and use it to defeat Char and somehow steal Quest from him. Keira is killed in the process. After the battle, Astronaut is crushed by Keira's death. 
Lone Bell comes up with a plan to destroy Axis before he hits Earth. They plan to destroy the thrusters, blowing up from inside with the explosives. Meanwhile, Chen finds out the Psycho Frame idea from Anaheim Electronics was not from R&D but from Neo Zeon. We also find out Amuro Ray created the basic design of the new Gundam. Londo Bell commands the attack on Axis. Quest launches in an Alpha Azeru with Yune in the Yakutoka. Quest attacks the new Gundam, but Amuro Ray leaves her as he has no interest fighting Quest. Yune joins the battle. The troops begin to attack new Gundam from all directions. New Gundam was able to defend itself with its superior fin funnels, but is slowly getting overwhelmed. Chen decides to pilot the damaged Rei Gazui to assist Amuro Rei with more Psycho Frame. Astronauts perishes. Hathaway pilots a Jagong hoping to help Quest, and is somehow able to defeat the incoming troops. Amuro destroys Yune using a decoy move with his shield and bazooka. Meanwhile, Rock Island continues to send missile barrages towards Axis, mixing in nuclear missiles within. Shar and the Sasabi continue to shoot the missile down with funnels. Hathaway finds Quest in his Jagon. He approaches an Alpha Aziru near the cockpit. Hathaway is obsessed with Quest and making very bad decisions. As Quest becomes more unstable, hoping to save Hathaway, Chen accidentally destroyed Alpha Aziru, killing Quest in the process, which angers the obsessed Hathaway, killing Chen along with her Psycho Mew sample, releasing a wave of Psycho Mew, attracting support from the Federations. Rock Island arrives Axis. Bright and his team enters Axis to plant explosives. Onobel continues their attempt to destroy the thrusters of Axis. Sazabi battles New Gundam. Amuro managed to destroy a thruster and continues to battle Shaw and his Sazabi, while Bright's team finishes installing explosives in Axis. Amuro leaves New Gundam to enter Axis. Shaw proceeds to leave Sazabi to pursue Amuro. Amuro sets up a series of radio to lecture Shaw as he runs away from Shaw while setting up traps along the way hoping to kill Char in the process. The two people continue to battle and argue in person until Amuro decides to leave. Nuganda and Sazabi continue to fight. Battle restarts with lightsabers, slowly evolves into punches and kicks. Nuganda appears to be stronger in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Meanwhile, Bright detonated explosive within Axis. A Char is distracted by the explosions. Sazabi is destroyed by New Gundam. Amuro captures Shar's escape pod as Axis splits from the explosions. Bright and his team realize, although half of Axis will clear Earth, the other half is still flying towards Earth. Hathaway cries out for daddy. Char explains how he has won. Amuro decides to push Axis back using New Gundam. New Gundam isn't just for show. Char revealed that he is the one that gave the Psycho Frame data to Londo Bell to make New Gundam stronger. The two continues to argue. As Axis enters Earth's atmosphere, the Psycho Frame begins to resonate. Jagons and GM flies in to help push back Axis. Gerudoka decide to join as well, claiming that they wanted to save the Earth now. As the weaker mobile suits begin to explode, Amuro was able to resonate the Psycho Mew further, which saves and push back the volunteer mobile suits. Amuro and Shaw are now alone, continue to argue over questions. Quest and Lala. Amuro revealed he didn't want to be a father figure to Quest. Char revealed that Lala would have been a mother figure to him. Reaching the height of their argument, the Psycho Moon unleashes its full power, pulling Axis away from Earth, with Amuro and Char vanishing within the light, saving the Earth from destruction. Let me know what you think about this movie if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. Hopefully this gives you a good review or preview for the Hathaway movie. If you like this kind of stuff, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.